sitting here in traffic. I actually haven't moved for about 20 minutes and uh, decided I'd shoot another video for you. So um, instead of uh, the one that I was planning on shooting, that's why I'm in the same clothes as the last video. Um, I, and the thought I wanted to share with you today is, are you being a good example for your child? And, and here's what I mean, because that could be that could mean a lot of different things. There are situations that happen in life to adults that your children are watching you uh, experience. So one of these uh, it happens when the economy, uh, I'm, I'm gonna take a financial example here. When, let's say you have a lot of money in a retirement account and uh, or, or in stocks and those sorts of things and the economy tanks. Uh, let's say you had a lot of money in the dot-com era um, and uh, you lost a bunch of money. Uh, or you had a bunch of money in real estate and you got in at the top uh, at the end of it where it peaked and then it, the, the bottom fell out and it crashed. The typical thing that you hear people say who go through that um, is, oh, I can't, you know, uh, what, you know, they, they were being reckless and they were, they were doing all these illegal things or they were scamming people and that's why the whole thing crashed. And everybody is a blame game. Politicians like to blame people. Um, the people who put their money into these things and lost a bunch of money like to blame everybody else because nobody wants to take personal responsibility. But realize that your children, if you, you behave like this, are watching you blame other people for your problems when reality is and hindsight's always 2020 but I think it's a good instructive example um, when you you look back at why the dot-com bubble uh, crashed for example um, it's because they were crappy business models and you don't realize that at the time uh, or some people do and you could go find old YouTube videos of people warning about don't invest your money in here look at these companies they they're not they're not making the right things they aren't helping people they aren't on good sound economics uh, don't invest in them and yet everybody ignores the advice and then everybody wants to blame everybody else when it comes crashing down when the real reason it came crashing down was just simple uh, simple basic rules that um, or actually, uh, that, that it is, if, if we're putting our money into those things, it's our duty to, to understand the rules of the game. Uh, Warren Buffett says, don't invest in things you don't understand. Only invest in things you know. Uh, good example, right? So that if you lose money, you can say, uh, if you do lose money, it is better for your child to hear you say, um, the reason I lost money is because I didn't do a good enough job of researching that company. That's a that's an answer you want to teach your children to a ask of themselves so they can learn from their mistakes. If you're given the kind of examples uh, that I hear most people give when they lose money or make bad decisions uh, by blaming it on other people, you're training your child to do the same thing. Um, uh, I would like to argue a little bit here that I think a lot of people are going to be saying this very soon um, that are uh, that that have their money in stocks and are not paying attention to what uh, the dollar and debt is doing to our economy they just are clueless. they don't they don't want to spend time thinking about this sort of thing and uh, when it comes crashing down on their head uh, and it goes badly they're gonna want to blame people uh, Democrats are going to want to blame the Tea Party for not letting them spend. The Tea Party is going to want to blame Democrats for racking up too much debt, and it'll be blame, blame, blame. But uh, 2020 vision will show that there will some be some people that came out on top and actually put their money in the right places, uh, like in certain commodities or um, uh, you know different things. I, I'm not, I'm no uh, economist and can't predict the future, but. Um, uh, there will be people who, who end up making money uh, by making good sound decisions and so I would encourage you to be one of those people by doing your homework and uh, making sure that you put in the right kind of, of, of due diligence and so that even if you do make a mistake you can go back and be the example for your child and help teach them the mistake that you made and how it uh, how you should have thought it better differently the next time instead of making um, the same mistake again so kind of a long example today I hope it makes some sense it's kinda of a little bit away from parenting but but still modeling and your behavior uh, is always important when uh, when children and little eyes and ears are watching and listening so be cognizant of it and uh, try to spend more time thinking about it and I think uh, your children will benefit from that